Hey guys, it's um, Tony Guattari here from Achievers Group with another very passionate and practical business video vitamin. Um, guys, I wanted to go through um, the relationship. Um, now this assumes that you've actually built, you know, you've, you've done the inception or the greeting. Now this also assumes that you've actually qualified. Now what I'm about to show you is how to deposit emotionally into my bank account. This is the start of the emotional deposit. Because remember your key in selling and marketing is to build up my emotional bank account so ferociously, so quickly, so profoundly that when I make the withdrawal, it's the easiest thing that I've ever done. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to give you some ideas, some tips on actually how you actually um, really build this relationship. A couple of key ones. First one is, is be friendly. Really, really important. Second one, I, I think, is to match and mirror people's body language. Really important to understand the principles of NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming, understanding the principles of pacing and leading, understand that 70% of communication is non-verbal. So if you've got a strong handshake, I'm going to have a strong handshake. Um, if you use your hands a lot, there is a likelihood that I would also use my hands quite often. But if you've got your hands in your pocket, I'm not going to wave my hands around. If you speak very slowly, then I'm actually going to speak very, very slowly. So I'm picking up things like tonality, voice, tone, body language, and posture. And I'm not going to be a parrot, but I am actually going to model those things that you see in yourselves because there is a likelihood, I mean a very strong likelihood, that you will actually like me because you like people who display the qualities that you have. So I think that's really important. Um, I think it's also really important that you actually take an active interest in your prospects. And there are many, many techniques of doing this. But I, I think you've got to have a curious spirit. You've actually got to be genuinely, genuinely interested in people. You've got to be genuinely interested in solving their problems. You've got to listen with the intent to understand, not listen because it's your turn to talk next. And, and one of the things that I would strongly suggest that you actually do is um, please take notes as the prospect is speaking. I mean, this is pretty profound. You've got to understand that, that sometimes um, no one is taking notes. And when you take notes, what you're actually saying to the prospect is what you are actually saying is really important. Um, it, it really is a very significant act on your behalf to show that you actually care. I think it's really important to continue to smile when you're actually building uh, that relationship. And the other area is that you've got to ask really good questions. You know, I'm a really firm believer that the best salespeople in the entire world do not have the gift of the gab. The best salespeople that I have seen have the ability to ask profound and very deep questions. You have to have brilliant questions. Because let's just establish what the purpose of questions are. If you ask really good questions, I mean really good questions, the first thing that occurs, the prospect says, wow, Tony, you actually know what you're talking about because no one has ever asked that question before. So the first thing that you do is you establish expertise. The second thing that you actually do is that um, you eliminate the competition because there is a likelihood that this prospect might actually be going out to the marketplace and getting quotes or going to see three or four of your competitors. And the, really, the key to differentiation is not product, it's relationship. So if you can put value in the relationship, people will go, wow, I really like that guy, or I really like that girl, because she asks really, really good questions. And those questions are not even asked by your competitors, so you have a unique difference in the marketplace. The other thing that asking questions does, it's quite simple, it builds rapport. You know, it's, it's pretty obvious to me that Oprah is an amazing interviewer. And the reason that Oprah is so good at what she does is that she um, really asks really good questions. And I'm telling you, those questions are, are really 
interesting questions aimed at the person that she's interviewing. And it just builds an enormous amount of rapport because people genuinely, genuinely like talking about themselves. So if you can give them an opportunity to share their thoughts, their ideas, their dreams, okay, without speaking and just asking really good questions, you are gonna make a dynamic difference to that prospect. And the other reason I ask questions is because quite simply this, um, in another video, I've actually explained to you that your role is to help people to solve their problems. How do you know what their problem is if you never ask a question? So it's really important to ask questions because questions allow you to really zero in on how you're gonna solve that problem. It's pretty obvious to me, it's a bit like a doctor. You can't prescribe until you've done the diagnosis. The diagnosis is the questioning process. So hey guys, I really help, hope that helps. Until next time, God bless you and have the most amazing week.